Hello and welcome to another episode of MongoDB in 10 minutes or less. I am your host, Colin Baird, and today we're going to be talking about replication and failovers in MongoDB. So let's go ahead and get started. So in this example, I have a three node replica set and we'll have a mobile application that's writing to our replica set. Now in MongoDB, you'll only ever have one replica member that can ever receive write operations and that's gonna be the primary. Now these write operations or really any operations are gonna go into what we call the operation log, which is then going to be replicated to our secondaries. So now commonly what you'll see in MongoDB is a uh, replica set distribution across multiple different um, regions. So, you know, if, if you want to avoid a potential outage because a data center region goes down, you know, AWS US East 1 goes down or, or Central goes down, uh, you don't want to have that to be a single point of failure. So in this example, let's say that we have our primary and one of our secondaries in uh, US East 1. And then uh, we'll go ahead and, and put this other secondary in US West 2. Now, one of our considerations here is going to be how long it takes for this data to replicate to our secondaries. Um, so, you know, since the primary and secondary one are both in the same um, region, we'll say that there's just 10 milliseconds of replication lag um, for these operations. Uh, but then, you know, our other one that's in US West 2 is going to be is going to be higher because there's a further uh, of a network route for this data to take. So we'll say that this one is 45 milliseconds. So, you know, I won't get go too deep into why this is a consideration or why, why we care um, in this video, but, you know, just, it is something that you will need to be aware of if you have uh, an application that is very sensitive to lag, um, or maybe you are doing some type of analytics off of the secondary, maybe your West 2 uh, node, you put it there because you have uh, some some analytical services in that region as well. Um, you want to make sure that when you're querying that replica member that you're not getting stale or old data. So all, all these things you need to keep uh, keep under consideration. And you know, if you're interested in this, you should look up write concerns and analytics on secondaries uh, or analytics nodes in MongoDB. So anyway. Uh, let's say in this example that we lose uh, our primary. So there will always be a heartbeat from the primary to the other replica members, and that heartbeat is basically a way of sending a signal to the other replica members to say, hey, you know, I'm still here, I'm still working, and this happens on a continuous basis uh, indefinitely. Uh, but then sometimes you'll have a network partition uh, or maybe a hard drive crash or a power outage or, or any number of events that could take the secondary down. And that's why we have replication in the first place. We want to avoid a single point of failure. So we have multiple standby nodes that can quickly come up and take the place of the former primary. So let's go ahead and say that, you know, our, uh, our current primary goes down and um, you know now, now what do we do? Well, the secondaries are going to have to hold an election. And this election, they basically both cast a vote to decide which member will become the new primary. So in this example, we'll say that uh, US West 2 is the winner uh, and it becomes the new primary. Now, fortunately for us, we don't have to go back to the application and point it to this new alternate server, um, you know, the, the new primary. Uh, the connection string handles all the logic for routing in MongoDB. Uh, so, you know, from the perspective of the application, this whole ele election process is, is seamless. Um, and again, all of this takes place in a matter of seconds. So now that we have our new primary, uh, the data is automatically going to be routed from the application to the new primary. And then, you know, the primary all, that primary will have an operation log, which is then replicated uh, to the new secondary. So this is a really high level overview of um, why we have replication. You know, it's for high availability and to avoid single points of failure. Uh, and what happens uh, if we do have uh, one of our replica members that, that goes down. Thanks for watching.